and welcome back to my channel. I have got Malika Basu here in my kitchen. Fine. Have you cooked with me on the channel? I before? don't think I have. Yeah, I don't think you have. It's How my strange. debut venture. Yeah. <laughs> that is so shocking because we've been friends for years now. And Malika Basu is also a food writer, cookbook author, and many more things. Things, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're finally here, so thank you. She has been here before, but we've just not managed to cook together. And um, I'm going to give the mic to her. And she will cook an amazingly delicious Kolkata dish because that's where she's from. That's Isn't right. It? We're going to make Mughlai Porota, which is a street food classic. Mm. But it is neither Mughlai nor yeah. a Porota. Okay. It's like a stuffed flatbread. <laughs> but it's super popular. And so, and it makes a great meal, a great snack. Ah. And I thought we could maybe try that. See yeah. what you think. Okay, let's do that. Uh, but before you start, she starts cooking. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. So we will use equal amounts of atta, whole wheat flour, finely melted whole wheat flour, with plain flour. Now, normally you would only use plain flour, but it is much easier to maneuver plain flour with a, with a bit of whole wheat, and also then you get the whole wheat goodness. We add a couple of teaspoons of salt and then we're going to put some sugar in there okay, as well. Huh? We're going to add a little bit of sugar because Bengalis love their sugar, yes? Now to that we're going to add a little bit of oil. So we'll add a couple of tablespoons of oil to this and we will need oil to make this by the way, huh? This is like a don't hold back situation. And then water goes in little by little to make a soft dough. So this is good because you don't, obviously we don't need any machines or mixers or blenders for this. Nothing at all, exactly. And I have a quite a weak right arm and it's not that difficult for me either. So it's quite an easy one to do. So we keep adding water. So is this very popular street food in Kolkata? Then? Super popular. You have it, you can get it with lamb filling, chicken filling, just veg and you know the way they make it oh. is incredible. So what happens in Kolkata is that they use so much oil to make this yeah. that you don't even need a rolling pin. They just slap it and spin it like a oh. pizza base. And it's quite amazing to watch actually. But that's why maybe it's called parotta because that's how the parotta dough is. You exactly. Stretch it. Exactly. Yeah. But you can imagine a rumali roti yeah, but yeah, made yeah. with lots oil. of oil. Lots yeah. and lots of oil. So hence it's quite a funny one but it just makes for such a wholesome and like easy snack. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously quite nice to replicate at home although without yeah. the excitement of the street yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. You'll see that this looks like quite a wet dough, yeah. right? Yeah. The flour will absorb the water. So I'm just gonna cover it and leave it like this for a bit. Okay. And then when we come back to it in about half an hour, you'll see it'll be drier and oh. then we can give it a good old pummeling. Okay. So we will chop an onion. Yeah really finely okay. and I like adding salt to this and leaving it sitting while other things are prepping so okay. it just softens a little bit. Okay. So what is this going to do? Just soften it up. What the salt will do while this is sitting and we're prepping everything else is it's just going to soften the onions a little. Okay. So we'll just chop up some coriander. We call this in Bengali, we call this kuchi kuchi. This chopping the coriander oh, like this. <laughs> we have lovely words for food. We say chop chope when something is soggy. Kuch kuche, chut khut khute, khut khute means finicky. <laughs> Sounds so cute though, no? Achha, then we will do the green chilli. So we'll slice the green chilies and chop them up again. Yeah, into little bits. So entirely depending on how much chilli you like basically. So we're only making enough filling for two parathas because we, we don't want to be in food coma for the rest of the yes, day. Yes. yes, so that's the plan. So this is just about enough for that. And then what else? The ginger garlic paste. So you've already made some ginger garlic yes, paste. So yes. woo, this is very good. So I'm just going to take a bit. Now you don't need too much because it gets too gingery, maybe like a teaspoon or so. And then we're going to add that to the onion. Okay, so in this goes in yeah all of it goes in that's quite a lot of fresh coriander just adjust it to your own preference i love yeah. coriander i can never have enough right and then we're going to just add a teaspoon of amchur and that will give it a lovely fruity 
tanginess about it. If you want, you can add chopped up tomatoes. Peppers work really well. I've done this with sweet corn. Literally any veg lying around. So I would say they should try this version first. That's exactly right. And then once you have the method yes. and the technique to a yes. tea, then just the world is your oyster. Okay. And then it's a little bit more oil. And then we're going to give this a nice pummeling. So you can see it's dried up a bit. Yeah. If it's too wet, you can always add more flour, but I don't think we need to. We just need to give this a good. So that's done. That's done. Yes. So we have a beautiful, smooth, slightly greasy dough. Yeah. We don't want to use too much flour. Look at that. Lovely. So this will make about three because you need a really large paratha that you then fill, okay. so it, yeah, you won't get that many out of here. Okay. <laughs> right, so let's do one. Let's, we can break these up, keep the rest covered. Okay, unfortunately, we're gonna add a bit more oil. Now, the great thing about this paratha is that you don't have to worry about its shape, yeah? And that's because you're going to stuff it anyway. So we just want to really push it out as much as we can. And this is where I need more practice to not have to use a bellon. Okay, so then, so, ready? Yeah. So we're gonna pop this in the middle, just a little bit of that. Then we crack an egg, so you could just do that here, and pop it in here. And you could just go with your fingers, just mix it up. And then very simply here, here, just creating a little parcel so none of that egg can escape. You see? There we go. And then in that goes into the hot oil. Okay, and then in it goes in the oil. Okay. Now you have to fry it on a medium, not too high, on a medium high, and it does need to fry. You can't skim this, it will take a good I'm going to say glug of oil and about 10 to 12 minutes, yes? So oh, no okay, skimping rushing. on this, yes, no rushing. Just because you don't want the outside cooked and the inside yeah. raw or vice versa. Okay. Right, I cannot wait. It smells really good. It's still piping hot. It but is. Okay, I mean, you go first. Come on, let's see. Let's see what she thinks. Ooh. Hmm. Good. Mm. Yeah. Come on, why will mm. it not be good? Why will it not be good? Oh. Everything in it is good. It's so crispy on the outside. Mm. But it, the, even the onions feel cooked. See? And that's because they were sitting in that salt. And then, oh. of course, we fried it in quite hot oil, didn't we? Mm. Mm. What would you serve with this? On its own, yes. Some ketchup, mm. spiked with a chili sauce or some chili powder of your choice. Mm. You turn it into like a spicy ketchup. Oh. Dip and enjoy. That's all you need. To be honest, green chutney. Mm -hmm. Like a pickle. A pickle would be fab. Lemon pickle or a mango pickle would be amazing with this. Oh. It's so hot, but we're not stopping. I know. It's really addictive, isn't it? I'll tell you what I serve it with sometimes. is mm. just some really thick hunkered. Mm. Like full fat hunkered. Mm -hmm. If you put a lot of chilies in it, mm. it's really refreshing. Guys, whatever you do, please try this because it is delicious. Oh. And I get what you mean. This is great for pack lunch. Now mm -hmm. that schools are opening again. Also, like you said, for snacks, you can cut it into smaller bites. You really can serve it as snacks. Yeah, so it's great for tea time, great for a quick fix dinner, mm. really wholesome, got lots of stuff in it. Obviously, lots of oil, but hey, mm. it's worth it, isn't it? Thank you so much for having me. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> she's staying tonight, but we're behaving as if she's leaving. She's not. No, no, we're saying bye to the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will leave Malika's 
website and Instagram in the description. So please go check it out and show her some love. Uh. Oh, you've got a book as well and check out. Her. I will leave a link to her cookbook as well. <laughs> so please do check that out as well. So thank you so much. Bye thank you. Bye.